In 2023, there's plenty of iPhone leather cases on the market, and it may be challenging to find out which one's the top one to get. But for the past couple of months, I've been testing out several leather cases and wanted to showcase three that truly stand out in my opinion. Each of these are different from one another, and I'll point out all those differences to help you find out which one's the best one to get. By the end of the video, I'll also let you know which one I personally think is the best one in my opinion. So stick around and check out this whole review. Hey guys, and welcome back to another iPhone case review. But before I start getting into these cases today, the nice folks at Zyke have reached out to me with their 2-in-1 wireless charger with MagSafe. And if you're looking for one, this is definitely a charger you should consider. I gotta say it's one of the coolest chargers I've gotten my hands on, and I mean that quite literally, since it's a charger that packs a fan that you could turn on or off for the MagSafe portion where your phone will charge, giving your iPhone the proper cooling it deserves so it doesn't get hot when charging it. By the way, it packs 15 watts of MagSafe charging and 10 watts of Qi charging down at the bottom for those accessories that you'd want to charge. Furthermore, the MagSafe head is adjustable up to 40 degrees, and the whole build quality of it is top notch. Apart from that, I'll be using and testing it out in this review, so check that out later in the video. And if you're interested in getting this charger, I have a link to it down in the description below, and there's also a discount code for it so you can use it to save even more with your purchase. Anyways, let's get back into this review. I'll first go over the design and features, and then talk about the grip and fit, as well as the protection of these cases. And then I'll test out the magnetic strength of them with various accessories, as they all pack magnetic rings. And in the end, I'll prove to you which one has the strongest magnets with my Gauss meter, and conclude with the best leather case in my opinion. So, when going over the design and features of these cases, they all vary differently, starting off with the Moshi Nappa leather case. It's a premium case that comes in several color options, and it's only available for the iPhone 14 models. Now, unlike some cases in this review, this case isn't entirely made out of all leather, as the frame of it is made out of plastic. As for the inside of the case, it has a really nice soft microfiber type of material, and the case also features really nice and clicky diamond cut aluminum buttons and an aircraft grade aluminum camera protector. Oh, you think you're fancy? Yeah, it's a fancy choice of words to describe these features, but when looking and using them, it is pretty premium just like the Nappa leather on it. Aside from that, the ring and slider cutout is nice and wide, and the cutouts at the bottom are great in my opinion. As for the Bellroy Mod leather case, it's different from the rest of these in this review when it comes down to its leather, as it's not entirely real leather. Bellroy decided to go with Ecotan leather on this case, so it has less of a negative impact on the environment. And with this kind of material, it went through a tanning process and it will feel different to the touch compared to the other cases. As for the rest of it, the frame is made out of polymer, and inside it has a somewhat similar soft microfiber lining in it, like the Moshi case. Moreover, the metal slim buttons on it are fantastic when using them. They're really nice and clicky. As for the cutouts on this case, the ring and slider cutout is quite small to access, but the button cutouts are nice and wide. Lastly, one of the best features about it is that if you're planning on using their mod wallet, then this case comes equipped with their single rail system. This is a cutout at the bottom of the case that works with their wallet to securely keep it locked in place when it's attached. And I wish other brands would really add this to their cases. I like it. That's genius. Since this is a smart feature to have, knowing many accessories have the tendency to move out of place pretty easily at the bottom, especially when the case has a weaker magnet on it. Oh, and on top of that, if you get the wallet for it, a cool feature is not only does it fit three cards in it, but it can also be used as a stand when watching something off of it horizontally. Now, if you're looking for a leather case that truly offers all natural, top grain leather all around it, then this bull strap case will certainly be for those that are all in unreal premium leather. Right out of the box, the scent of the leather on this case is quite potent, and you will smell it right away. Crazy world, a lot of smells. It also comes in other color options, and you can get it for other iPhone models. Besides that, it comes with microfiber lining on the inside of the case that's more coarse than the previous two. 
On top of that, it features stainless steel buttons. They're also nice and clicky to the touch. Basically, none of these cases offered bad buttons, and I didn't encounter any stiffness when pressing them on this case. Now, the ring and slider cutout is small just like on the Bellroy case, but the bottom cutout is wide open and easy to access due to this part of the case featuring a big opening, thus making it less protective out of all of these as it doesn't protect the entire phone, but I'll get into that later on when I go over the protection of all of these cases. Now, when it came down to the fit and grip, none of the cases seemed like a big issue when putting them on or taking them off. Maybe the bull strap case was a little more challenging when putting it on with its stiff leather design and edges, but it was pretty easy taking it off. As for the grip on these cases, the one with the best grip is the Moshi Nappa leather in my opinion, as it offers a nice grippy textured design on the sides of the case. After the Moshi, I would have to go with the Bellroy mod case. Now, the Bellroy didn't have grippy sides like the Moshi case, but it's better than the bull strap out of the box when gripping it. Also, Bellroy seemed to offer the best grip on the back with its more rough leather feel and grip, considering it offers Eco Tan leather on it. Now, the bull strap didn't pack the best grip, but that's because the leather is new and it hasn't been used. It will have a very slippery grip and feel to it right out of the box, but over time, you'll get that patina look and the grip will certainly change, especially on a top grain leather case like this one. As for the protection of these cases, all of these will differ as well. And one important thing to note is that none of these will offer any additional protection on the corners of the case when looking at the inside of them. But they all provide that standard raised lip protection on the top, all along, or most of the edges of your iPhone. Except the bull strap leather case, which doesn't have lip protection at the bottom of it, which can be a downside. Anyways, all of them do offer a raised lip for the camera, but the best camera protection was on the Moshi case, with it offering all-around protection, and I gotta say, it looks pretty damn good. As for the bull strap and Moshi case, they were the best ones when it came down to the flex or bend of the lip on these cases, as they literally offered almost no flex when bending them. As for the Bellroy mod case, the lip of it did flex on all sides due to its silicone-like frame that makes it more bendable. Alrighty, now onto the strength of the magnetic rings on these cases. When testing them out, I used several MagSafe accessories to see how well they would hold up on all of them. And starting off with the Bellroy Mod Wallet, I only used it for the Bellroy case, since it's designed for it, and it sure did its job in staying well in place. As for the rest of the accessories, all the cases held the Moft Wallet in place really well without having it move. But when it came down to the Apple Battery Pack, the Bellroy, and bull strap magnets weren't as strong and the battery pack did move out of place slightly after these shake tests. As for the Moshi case, it held up great to all the accessories and it didn't have any of them move one bit. After performing all of these tests, the Moshi to me turned out the best and came out on top and it was definitely noticeable after using the MagSafe charging puck on it. I could also tell it did a better job of staying firmly in place on the Zyke charger that I tested it on. As for the other two, it was pretty much neck and neck and really hard to find out which one had a better magnetic ring. However, the Gauss meter was able to prove which one had the strongest magnets, and the clear winner was the Moshi Nappa leather case. As for the Bellroy and Bullstrap, they were neck and neck with their magnets from the shake test that I performed on them, and from the Gauss meter readings, it was also very close, but the Bullstrap did edge the Bellroy case in magnetic strength. In the end, all of these cases can be a perfect choice depending on what you're looking for. They all have great buttons, so that's not going to be an issue. However, we all know how annoying that can be, but all of them are great and they have good cutouts as well. But if you're looking for a real premium leather case that will give you that patina look with age and use, then the Bullstrap case is the one to get. However, if you're interested in a hybrid Eco Tan leather case that's really slim and sleek, then the Bellroy Mod case will be the one you'll probably want. Now, if you're looking to get the best hybrid leather case that offers the best grip out of any of these cases with personally top-notch protection as well and the best magnetic strength on the back of it, then the Moshi Nappa leather case is surely going to be the one you'll want on your iPhone. To me, it's hands down the best case and I've been using it a lot, and some of you have probably seen it in my recent videos. But if you haven't seen them, go check those out if you want to see it in action with some other accessories. Anyways, I hope you got to find out which one you would want to pick up from this review, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here for the next one.